you know, I had all these random and these widespread symptoms and I was going to each doctor. So each doctor kind of was like standing on their own little tower and taking care of that issue. And I would ask if these were autoimmune related and none of them really could confirm because they were just kind of isolated in their own area of expertise. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to today's interview with Rosanna. Rosanna's been struggling with lichen sclerosis that one, a lot of doctors and a lot of patients don't even know is autoimmune. Number two, she had a myriad of mystery symptoms that started from the delivery of her son, including postpartum depression, um, hair loss, fatigue, shingles later on, a lot of mystery symptoms with skin, um, tear ducts that were just completely ignored, even including early menopause, and not put together as being related with autoimmunity. I'd love to see show you guys where she is now, just two months into her year of autoimmune turnaround, as to where each of these symptoms are. I hope you enjoy this interview and the journey back from severe lichen sclerosis and a myriad of mystery symptoms. Hey, Rosanna, I'd love for you to introduce yourself to our audience. Hi there. I am Rosanna Gibbons. I am 55. I am a retired math teacher, and I've been dealing with autoimmune issues for about 26 years, wow. although I wasn't sure that's what they were at the time. So that is the snapshot. So it was, it was interesting because I was, uh, I was in our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, and there was a comment from one of your friends, actually, under one of your posts celebrating some of your wins, and they didn't realize how much you had been going through the last 26 years. I was surprised by that. I didn't even know she was part of the program. I do remember her from high school, and she... You know, she did have, um, she said she was sick all the time. And uh, that made, that saddened me that she's been dealing with it all well, these years. But what I'm saying is autoimmunity and a lot of these mystery illnesses is something that many people suffer alone or they don't even realize how common it really is and how many people even close to them is going through the same thing. Yes, yes, it really is. So how did, so what were some of the diagnoses that you had? You said 26 years. What are some diagnoses that you've been dealing with? Well, um, after the birth of my first daughter is when I started having- Which um, we know now is hormonally related. Yes. We talk about how hormone drops and rises is a major trigger of autoimmune disease. So now you know why it started after the birth of your daughter. Yes. Um, so I started having postpartum depression, insomnia. Me too. Um, my nails started pulling away from my nail beds and my hair started thinning. But you know, at the time I just, they just said, oh, well, your hormones are fluctuating. Yes, that's part of it. But I thought that was just a normal process that after you have a baby, you have all these other issues with your hormones. So that was um, kind of the first indicator after I had my second daughter, I started going into perimenopause and had heavy bleeding, um, long periods for like two and a half weeks. Um, and then at that time, my doctor put me back on the pill and didn't think much of it until I went into menopause. Um, I was post-menopausal by 38. I was post-menopausal by the time I was 36. So you know that story. Yes, it was pretty amazing how uh, similar our stories are. Well, this is, goes to show you, these are patterns that are just completely missed by conventional medicine doctors. And trust me, I know I was one of those conventional doctors myself until I got sick. I didn't recognize that these were patterns, you know? So you're starting to see that postpartum, hormonal changes, early menopause, these are all related with autoimmunity. Yes. Um, after a couple of years being postmenopausal, that's when I was diagnosed with lichen sclerosis. Yeah. And again, my doctor told me, oh, it's because you went into early menopause and these things can happen. And with my own research, I discovered it was actually an autoimmune condition. So that was my first indicator that mm, something is not right in my body um, when I got the lichen sclerosis. Um, so then... I had a huge, as I told you, a huge bout with post herpetic neuralgia when I got shingles. And I got the really rare shingles, the one without the rash. So, you know, I didn't get the antiviral in time and I dealt with 18 months of pain. I went through the same thing with my left hip. Oh, oh, yeah. It was not 18 months, it was about six months of severe left hip pain. I was working out physical therapy, trainers, everything, no rash. 
at the end of six months, a rash showed up. And then I tested positive for shingles. And this is not uncommon, especially people with autoimmunity and really hyper, hypo, irregular autoimmune immune systems. You can have very atypical presentations of viral infections or recurrence of infections like shingles. So this is a very common pattern I see. You're not a rare zebra. This not only happened to you, it happened to me, and I've seen it happen to thousands of other people. So what was your biggest frustrations dealing with 26 years of these doctors and symptoms? I think the biggest frustration is that, you know, I had all these random and these widespread symptoms and I was going to each doctor. So each doctor kind of was like standing on their own little tower and taking care of that issue. And they were all doing a great job taking care of those issues. And I would ask if these were autoimmune related and none of them really could confirm because they were just kind of isolated in their own area of expertise. And I really wanted somebody to put it all together. Um, my primary care would have done that, uh, he, you know, to his defense, he inherited my relationship from my previous primary care and she wasn't putting it all together. And I was so busy and just dealing with just the day to day life of, of dealing with all my weird symptoms that I wasn't trying to put it all together at that time. Um, but I knew that something needed to be done to figure out like what is really going on with me. And it really took, um, you know, I finally ended up going to a rheumatologist because I was asking, you know, what is going on? And also my daughter at that time, she suffered two pulmonary emboli and was diagnosed with antiphospholipid syndrome. And then they, you know, they suspected lupus as well. And in my brain, I knew that there was this hereditary component that I had read about. And so I went to the rheumatologist and he tested me, you know, for all of these things, sarcoid, sociograns, lupus, but all of them came back normal. So he just, you know, dismissed me, not dismissed me. He just said, everything's normal. So I guess you're okay. And I knew I wasn't normal. So it's really common for people to go from doctor to doctor with specialists in their own little silos. And the thing is, is that we actually don't train primary care doctors or specialists to understand that autoimmunity can link all of these symptoms, right? And that there's patterns of different targets of autoimmune attack in each person that's dealing with autoimmunity. Hey everyone, that was an incredible interview with Rosanna. And yes, lichen sclerosis can impact upon, you know, skin, um, also can cause painful intercourse. It has a tremendous impact upon your personal life, your self-confidence, um, and it creates an incredible amount of suffering, especially it's an autoimmune disease with many other targets of autoimmune attack. So the insomnia is no joke. The anxiety is no joke. Sometimes the joint pain, the fatigue is no joke to the point where Rosanna had trouble even driving home from work. So it's been just amazing to watch her journey. And she's currently now an inspiration to tons of other people in our Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, make sure you join our trans Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. I hope you enjoyed that interview as much as I did. If you know anyone with any of these symptoms of lichen sclerosis or any other autoimmune disease, go ahead and type their name in the comment section now. Sharing is caring. And thank you for raising awareness. They may not listen to you, but they may listen to Rosanna. So go ahead and put their name in the comment section below and that'll be awesome. So thanks a lot, everybody, and have a great day. Hi, everyone. I'm Maggie UMD, and I am a functional and holistic medicine physician, and I am the creator of the Transform Protocol. And we have an online program for two months that works to transform any autoimmune disease or no diagnosis autoimmune symptoms around naturally. If you're interested in working with me and our team, go ahead and click the link to book a call with us and you're going to fill out a short application and we're going to figure out if we're a good fit to work together. If you haven't joined our Facebook group now, now it's a really good time to check out our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. We literally have hundreds of resources in there and our team is in there actively also chatting and answering questions with people. The other thing is if you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time we go live.